The NRS1 rail cars are equipped with two self-contained air conditioner units SID3500 installed on the roof of each DT and M car. They are identified as AC1 and AC2 and are completely interchangeable and have independent microcontrollers. The HVAC unit is identified by its model number, part number and serial number as shown in this table. The main dimensions and the mass of the HVAC unit is shown in the table below. The salient technical data of the HVAC unit is as shown below. The important parts of the HVAC unit and their layout is as follows. The HVAC unit comprises of three sections. the supply fan compartment, the mixed air compartment, and the condenser compartment. The supply fan compartment hosts the air blower or the supply fan. Emergency inverter. Emergency Transformer The Hinged Service Cover and Heater Bank The mixed air compartment is situated in the center of the HVAC unit. The components located in the mixed air compartment are fresh air dampers, fresh air filters, cooling coil or the evaporator coil electrical control panel the return air temperature sensor or RAT sensor the hygrostat hand shut off valves refrigerant hp and lp controls and the refrigerant sight glasses
The condenser compartment accommodates the refrigerant compressors. Condenser coils Condenser fans Solenoid valves Filter dryer and the refrigerant sight glass. The parts of the HVAC outside the HVAC unit are Power connector P1 and Control connector P2. Earth connection The supply air duct The supply air opening Return air opening Condensate drainage Mounting brackets and the fresh air damper covers The parts related to HVAC in the saloon car are the supply air ducts Air diffusers, the smoke detectors, The functions of the parts are as follows. The air blower or the supply fan located in the supply fan compartment is energized whenever the air conditioner is switched on. It draws air from the mixed air compartment and discharges it in the saloon area through the air duct. In normal operation, the supply fan is supplied with 415 volt from the train's static inverter. In case of power failure, the supply fan is energized from the car's 110 volt battery bank with the help of the emergency inverter and the three phase emergency transformer. The hinged supply fan compartment cover gives access to the supply fan, heater bank and the emergency inverter and the transformer. Additionally, the service cover is opened in order to get access to the downstream side of the cooling coil. The fresh air dampers are located on both the right hand side and the left hand side of the mixed air chamber. They control the flow of the ambient fresh air into the mixed air chamber. The fresh air dampers are motor operated and the damper actuator allows to set the damper in the following positions. Closed position. The damper will close when the air conditioner receives a smoke detector signal indicating the presence of smoke in the ambient air. 
fully open position. The damper is set to fully open in the emergency mode where there is a three-phase power failure, while the return air dampers are fully closed. Normally open position. The normally open damper opening is set to provide the airflow requirement as per the load condition. Following are the return and fresh air damper settings. The fresh air filters are placed on the downstream side of the fresh air dampers. They filter out the dust particles and other foreign particles carried in the flow of ambient fresh air. A set of three return air filters are installed in the mixed air section in front of the cooling coil or the evaporator. The cooling coil or the evaporator. During the operation in the cool mode, the cooling coil or the evaporator cools and dehumidifies the mixed air passing through it before it is discharged from the supply air opening into the saloon area via the supply air duct. The heater bank is installed on the downstream side of the cooling coil. In the heat mode, the heater bank is energized when the return air temperature or the RAT falls below the heating set point that is 18 degrees centigrade. The heater banks also get energized in the dehumidification mode. The electrical control panel is located in the mixed air compartment. All the electrical switch gear and the microcontroller are installed in the control panel. This is the power or the P1 connector installed on the roof side. It is a multi-pin electrical connector that interfaces with the three-phase power supply cable coming from the static inverter. This is the control or the P2 connector. It establishes a communication link to the train information system and various signaling circuits. It also connects the control system and the emergency inverter to the battery buffered 110 volt control power supply system. The MCS or the main control switch controls the 110 volt supply to the control system. When the MCS is turned to off position, the AC is disabled and it will not communicate with the train information system. The return air temperature sensor or the RAT sensor is installed in the mixed air compartment just above the return air opening. The RAT sensor measures the temperature of the return air drawn from the passenger saloon. Depending on the return air temperature, the HVAC unit adjusts the cooling power to maintain the specified target temperature. The hygrostat is installed on the opposite side of the return air opening under the electrical panel. It monitors the relative humidity of the return air. If the relative humidity is more than 60%, one of the two refrigerant circuits will be energized along with the heater bank in order to de take two in order to dehumidify the saloon air. The hand shutoff valve or the access valves are located on the left and the right side of the return air opening. Each circuit has one suction side LP and one discharge side that is HP port. The shutoff valves are used during maintenance in order to connect pressure test instruments or to gas charge the system. The refrigerant side glasses are installed above the fresh air dampers in the mixed air chamber. The refrigerant side glasses allow to visually inspect the flow of refrigerant through the return air opening while the air conditioner is in operation. Refrigerant side glasses are also installed 
in the condenser compartment under the condenser coils so that they can be viewed from the outside. The refrigerant compressors make the refrigerant gas transfer heat from the passenger saloon to the condenser coils from where the heat is dissipated into the atmosphere with the help of condenser fans. High pressure or the HP switch trips the compressor motor of circuit 1-2 whenever the pressure rises above the specified maximum value. That is, the cut-in value is 24 plus minus 1.5 bar or 350 plus minus 22 psi. The cutout value is 31 plus minus 1 bar or 450 plus minus 14 psi. Low pressure or the LP switch trips the compressor motor of the circuit 1 and 2 whenever the pressure falls below the specified maximum value. The cut-in value is 2.7 plus minus 0.5 bar or 39 plus minus 6 psi and the cutout value is 1.7 plus minus 0.5 bar or 25 plus minus 7 psi. The solenoid valve consists of two parts, the valve body installed in the refrigerant liquid line and the solenoid coil connected to the electrical control system. The coil energizes to open the valve when the refrigerant compressor is switched on. The valve is closed when the compressor is switched off. The filter dryer removes foreign particles and moisture from the flow of the refrigerant. Condenser fans facilitate the transfer of heat from the condenser coil to the ambient atmosphere. Condenser fan 1 is switched on when the aircon is operating in cool mode. Condenser fan 2 is energized when the refrigerant discharge pressure in circuit 1 and circuit 2 exceeds a specified value. The condenser coil is a heat exchanger. It condenses the hot refrigerant gas coming from the compressor into a liquid. The thermal fuse is a safety device installed in the three-phase power supply to the heater bank. If the air temperature gets too high, a liquid-filled glass ball inside the fuse bursts if a temperature of 130 degrees centigrade is exceeded. As a result, the spring-loaded contacts will open and disconnect the power supply to the heating elements. The overheat protectors or the OHPs An arrangement of three auto-resetting temperature switches connected in series is installed on the downstream side of the heater bank. When the tripping temperature is reached, that is at 65 degrees centigrade, the microcontroller switches off the power supply to the heaters. When the temperature has come down, the power supply to the heaters will be restored. The thermal expansion valve or the TX valve is a precision device that controls the flow of the refrigerant into the cooling coil or the evaporator. It forms part of the refrigeration circuits. The supply air opening is a rectangular opening located on the front side of the HVAC unit. The conditioned air leaves the air conditioner from this opening and is discharged into a duct called the supply air duct running above the false ceiling of the passenger saloon from where the conditioned air is distributed in the saloon through two rows of air diffusers. The maintenance hatch is a rectangular opening at the bottom of the HVAC unit. 
it can be accessed by opening the maintenance hatch cover in the ceiling of the saloon car. The return air enters the HVAC through the return air grills. The maintenance hatch also gives maintenance access to the components installed in the mixed air chamber like the electrical panel, fresh and mixed air filters, refrigerant side glass, etc. The air conditioner has condensate drain pipes on either side for drainage of condensate water. The fresh air damper covers are located in front of the fresh air dampers. They protect the dampers and the mixed air chamber from rainwater and coarse foreign particles. There are four fire detector units or FDUs in DT car and two fire detector units or FDUs in M car. FDU 1, detector 1 is located in the HVAC unit in DT car. FDU-1 Detector 2 is located in the Cohen panel between L1 and L2 in DT car. FDU-2 Detector 1 is located in the CLEC cabinet 3 in DT car. And FDU2 detector 2 is located in the Coven panel between L3 and L4 doors of the DT car. In M car, the FDUs are located near the R2 and the L3 doors.